Camp. What people don't know is that Sir Cordia, Angelo, Black, Nana, and Ketia, yeah. and all these boys, they have issues. I mean, listen, bro, let me let me use you as an example. I mean, if you don't go back to Kumasi again, mm. Kumasi is going to lose. Yeah, 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 man, Charlie. <laughs> um, if youngins are listening to us who have started running with artists and uh, they want to also, you know, uh, be able to groom and raise the new generation of artists Charlie, who might change the fortunes of this country, mm -hmm. what will be your top five do's and don'ts mm. for the youngins that are watching this podcast? The young managers coming up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I mean, for you to say to yourself, your manager, first and foremost, the first thing that comes to your mind is you're selfless. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be selfless. Mm -hmm. Secondly... Number one. Yeah. Number two, you have to put your... your <laughs> Um, you have to put your yourself or everything that you're doing on hold mm -hmm. to help build this person that you know you you're managing. Yeah. Uh, because it it, it need you need a lot of time. You mm -hmm. need a lot of dedication mm -hmm. to drive this person. That is, if you alone are managing this person, because the talent starts and ends in the studio. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens outside the studio is up to you, the manager. Yeah you have to start building your connect in the industry. Okay. If nobody knows you, the artist can't go anyway. Mm. There are times that DJ Slim will ask me to do something, I'll do it because he's DJ Slim, because I have a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do not have a relationship with me and you call me and give me even a million dollars, I'll treat you that. You know, I, yes, I might do the work, but the emotional touch might not be there. I talked about this yesterday with uh, my brother Sheldon. Yeah. When I talked about Lynx Entertainment and the Lynx machine, mm -hmm. the quote unquote the machine, and it's, it, it, it's never a machine, it's, it's all about relationship. Yes, relationship. I mean, because if I if I get a WhatsApp message from Albert, I know, oh, let me do it, because your brother. Yeah. I mean, if, if Slim calls me any day, I have to turn up because yeah. it's DJ Slim. Yeah. Imagine there's a, somebody new who says, oh, bro, hello, Mr. George, and we're doing a podcast, you want me to come? How is that even possible? If you get me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know aside you aside yeah. you being selfless and being supportive of the persons yeah. you have to build your connect in the industry mm. uh, the third thing is that you have to read about the craft now every now and then it changes it changes yeah. you know it changes you have to you really have to and then again also build yourself mm -hmm. you have to be good in communication mm -hmm. you have to build you know um what's it called man you have to build it okay i've made mention of the network mm -hmm. be strong in communication be strong in communication because you represent the artist anywhere you go you speak mm -hmm. for the artist yeah if you are bad he's seen as bad yeah if you are good he's seen as good so yeah i mean now you have problem because listen and and then again you should also know that i think this bonus you should also know mm -hmm. that there isn't i keep saying using this example there isn't one size fits all for you know artists managers or the behavior of artists mm -hmm. in 2013 shatawala goes to our watch show mm -hmm. he loses to uh, uh khaki, khaki yeah and he, he he goes around breaking chairs and you know creating all sort of madness out of that he becomes relevant and he stays in the industry yeah two years ago two years later Rascal who goes there, mm -hmm. losing an hours, break chairs, nobody minds him. Yeah. So it is not about because Shatter or because Stone or because Sag did break this. Chairs, so you two, you won't go break chairs or? You gave me my lose. Oh, so pie, pie, are you, man. Nobody <laughs> will mind you. Find yourself. Know mm -hmm. who you are. I mean, you can be a quiet, gentle man, and mm -hmm. if you're going to blow, you're going to blow. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily like a clear example in our camp. I mean, Camido. It is. It, it's in our camp. Camido will not like to join or will not make Camido join on negative news. Okay. We'll put in the work. It might take time. Yes, mm -hmm. it took time for Camido to get you know the biggest song in it, one of the biggest songs in the world. Yeah. But it was worth the wait. You know, we kept it clean. It was music. It was content around music. Mm -hmm. You know, we we try as much as we can to you know add new flesh to the songs mm -hmm. every now and then. Mm -hmm. We didn't build this for you know for him to go and say oh. 
So I came on that. Do mm. this. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we didn't go to this with anybody. Co- co- we to this, so I mean, there was a day, you know, there was a day, you know, uh, he made well, a statement well. about uh, Shatawale and Kuju Sheldon. Two, three days later, I had to come and, you know, apologize because we felt like, yo, maybe he said this, he didn't say it right. I'm sorry, let's mm-hmm. move on because the industry is big. I mean, we, we as Ghanaians can only represent Ghana mm-hmm. and we can represent Ghana in a unison. I mean, when we go out there, I didn't mention about you being in Washington because I know you played for... Yeah. Uh, 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 coaches. coaches event <clears throat> you know, yeah. in Washington. So this uh, this year too, Charlie Shah's going out to coaches. This year too, represent ah, right. DMV <laughs> party in the park, man. You, you, you hear me? So I mean, when, when you go out there, we, we are Ghanaians and represent yeah, Ghana. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, in my case, that's how I come. I try as much as I can to be cool with everybody mm-hmm. because, bro, you've never been stranded at an airport where you need yeah, a, yeah. a brother support, Charlie. and then comes somebody that you've been fighting all your life. Okay. You know? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, uh, Slim. You see, when you when you travel, you change your perspective about things. Yeah, you know your knowledge and how you do things change. Yeah, I mean because when you go into the into the world, you see things different. I yes. mean there are people. You might sit there and be like, oh, okay, New York, New York is gangster. But when you go to New York, you know, seeing diff- all sort of people. You are seeing, you know, you are seeing the Mexicans, you are seeing the Hispanics, you are seeing the yes. black, even the white the types of white you see. Different. Every part of the world you go, you see different people. Yeah. So it informs you how to think and how to do things. So back to the matter. I mean, mm-hmm. if you want to be an artist manager, listen, it's a great craft. You can you can actually build your career. You can build a life out of this. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so much money involved in Africa. When you say you're successful, that means you have money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can, of course, you can make a lot of money from this. What you have to do is to make sure that it is the life that you want to live. Uh, mm-hmm. Build trust with your team. Mm-hmm. Learn how to say sorry when you're Learn wrong. Learn how to say sorry when you're wrong because you say it's a human institution. You're mm-hmm. dealing with humans. So there, yeah. are, there might be times that you go against, you know, I mean, the relationship, and you should quickly come back and apologize and you move on. I mean, all the big on all mm-hmm. the big and successful, you know, uh, teams in the world. You've got people. I remember Whiskey and his team. You know, they had the issue. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, DJ Neptunes and all these. But isn't that you know what is his name? He's, he's DJ, DJ Tunes. Tunes and all these. Yeah, but they had Tunes. issues. But you know, you, they were able to, you know, come back and fix it and yeah, enjoy yeah. life. So I think Sakode said something in one of the interviews and was like, uh, I mean, in his camp because he's one of the artists who's basically kept a, a team around for a while. For a very long time. Long, all, all these boys have been around yeah. Sakode from the beginning. From the beginning. Shaz going yeah. to Angelo, man. I'm, my, my blood for days. Yeah, black Nana. Yeah, um, black uh, Nana. You know, I mean, they've been around for years. Ketia and all these boys. Uh, uh, I think in one interview, the, 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 the host was like, so how does he do it? And it's like, he doesn't look at uh, the issue from where everybody looks yeah. at it from. Mm-hmm. He believes that if you have a good uh, spirit towards him or a good vibe towards him, the rest of the other things, I mean, you know, if we, if we talk him out, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, sure. See, Charlie, you still have my interest mm-hmm. at heart. Mm-hmm. You, you believe mm-hmm. in what we are doing. Yeah. You still believe in it. Yeah. But just say, I step on your shoe. We it make the team. And so right now, what you will do is you just will clean the shoe and then move on. Listen, bro. I mean, listen, I mean, uh, maybe one or two have been able to survive, but go back into history or look, take a look at, you know, our music industry and teams, artists that started with some team and they let go of the team, it has affected them. A lot. I don't a want to mention lot. names, but we know. We'll feel, we'll I feel. mean, oh, shout oh, out to ask. shout out to the new delivery boys. But mm-hmm. you see, mm-hmm. uh, people people are. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> hey, listen. If for issues, for issues, <laughs> you get me. I mean, if we were able to find a way to address some of the issues that come up comes mm-hmm. up in the camp. What people don't know is that Sarkodie, Angelo, Black, Nana, Nketiah, yeah. and all these boys, they have issues. Yes. They are humans. Yes. You get me? Yes. Issues with Papa. In my camp, I have issues. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. not always yeah. okay with what Camilo does. Camilo is always okay, okay with what I do. Yeah. You get me? So there's going to be issues. But as humans, we need to find a way to live in a space. Yeah. And you know, when I'm so, when I'm when I'm wrong, I say sorry. When he's wrong, he says sorry. And we move. Move. But... For, and listen, as an artist, 
you're not going to stay on top of forever. You are not. Mm-hmm. You get me? So when the moment comes and you are big and the world is calling, mm-hmm. know that after 90 days in this modern era, after 90 mm-hmm. days, the calling will come down. Yes. You go back to the team that you have. Mm-hmm. You get me? So In order to whip up that same magic that you get, get me, to that top go again. back yeah. to them or still be with them when issues come. Because yeah. listen, I didn't with a lot of egos in the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. And it is difficult because what the artist hates, bro. I mean, we've been it, with the artists. Oh, and, it, and, and it, it is listen, it, it comes like a it comes like a spirit. Mm-hmm. Because imagine all of us in the world is calling you. People are tagging you all over the world. People are singing your song over all over the world. Somebody it's, the you Kenya. Me? Somebody the Alaska. Listen, they fight I, to your song. Listen, I have traveled last year, I traveled to about 15 countries, and it was just amazing how people from people that I never thought I was gonna see dance to Camido's music. I mean, Abu Dhabi, somewhere far from town, you know, like, like people are dancing. You, you get me? And I'm like, sometimes, I, me as a manager, I have to be open-minded and to see that, okay, the artist can be swollen headed the mm-hmm. artist can be, you know, he can be swept away because the girls are singing. I yeah. mean, you're in a Dubai. Nice girls. You're in a Dubai club where these, these girls are pulling up with, you know, Speak. the Ferraris and all that. They are mentioning your name and singing and taking pictures with you. Boy, man, you, you're going to get, you, your head is going to be big. So, Speck, oh. <laughs> I just say, oh, no, no. you know, as a manager, you have to come to play because you, you see, you you're oversee you're, yeah, you're supposed or to you see beyond artists. some yeah. of these things. That is going to live his life. He can have all the fun, but you have to open your eyes. Mm. You get me to see some of this. And so we can. There's a lot more as people we need to learn. Uh, the industry is beautiful. Uh, we are still growing. As you know, Ghana entertainment industry is still growing. Um, Do you I, think we'll get there? We'll, we'll no, no, get we'll, there. Get there. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there only. We'll get there only mm-hmm. if we still have the experienced people around. Now that is one thing that is really killing the industry. Yes, that is one thing that's really killing the industry. We, 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 we keep losing out on people. Yeah, that we are keep losing we keep losing out on people that are experience. I mean, listen, bro, let me let me use you as an example. I mean, if you don't go back to Kumasi again, mm. Kumasi is gonna lose. No, Kumasi will not No, 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 I'm telling you, bro. Listen, I'm telling you, no, no, no. I mean, no, Slim. I mean, I've been speaking to you, you know, for a while now uh-huh. about this. Tell me about it. Kumasi is gonna lose because since you left Kumasi, I mean shout out to the media guys doing they are doing amazing jobs. But mm. Your job shouldn't just stay in Kumasi. Mm-hmm. Your job should be if you're in Kumasi and you live in this modern day era yeah. and you have all these tools around, all mm-hmm. the social media platform, all this internet mm-hmm. around you, you should be able to create conversations that cross the borders of Kumasi yeah. into other regions. Yeah. I mean, uh, you, uh, shout out to my boy, um, portfolio, portfolio and the whole Kwame and all the squad, you know, yeah. what you guys were doing on ABN was superb. Yeah. I mean, you were in conversation. Listen, I, I'm a member of the Three Music Board, and you were in our conversation every day. You get me? How you even made? Listen, people don't know again that you made Three Music popular in commerce yes. when it came against Three Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That everybody should come and were like, "Yo, this yeah. guy, man." You get me? So, oh, because I, I did it live on uh, on radio and. Uh, um, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, <laughs> like everybody just take yeah, this. Yeah, it was mad. And, 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 you know, it, we, we live in Accra here and it was a problem to us. When I said that, your, 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 the way of you guys did your interviews, I mean, every morning. So it became a certain hit FM in the morning in Accra or you can join on Facebook and ABN. Yeah. You get me? Because the conversations were exciting. I mean, yeah. listen, we sit here and watch Hot 97 America. Yeah. We know what these guys are doing. Yeah, watch in, Power all the time. You get me? Uh, power in all these places. Oh, yeah. So nothing stops me from listening to what's happening in Kumasi. Yeah. And especially if it interests me, if it's, in, if it's in my field of work. I'm only encouraging my people there that, listen, man, I don't want to mention names, but so I've got great friends in Kumasi. Yeah. yeah? They should emulate you. Mm-hmm. emulate you I mean they should be able to create the things you did there mm-hmm. you know DJ Slim is not a new name in Accra no the old name for yeah, you yeah yeah I mean we know I mean the controversies were beautiful yeah. attacking artists were beautiful I mean the no Twitter spaces the Twitter spaces that you were no doing okay 
Then maybe, <laughs> maybe education. The education bit was here. I mean, uh, excited. I mean, the two spaces that you know you were you actually doing yeah. commercial. Yeah. There was something we even like were learning from you. Yeah. Tell you me. get me because uh, we live in a, a digital era. Yeah. And digital era means that you have no boundary. Yes. I can you be in, to explore everything. You gave me. I can be in London and listen to you on Sunday. Yeah. I can be in New York and listen to you on Sunday. Yeah. So, so that's what you need to let your people also understand. Mm. Listen, you might be in Kumasi, mm -hmm. but let somebody in Washington DC enjoy you. Yes. Let your music. You need to be heard everywhere. I'm sure when you go to when you go to you know America, there are people calling you. A few people that knew you, like, oh, DJ Slim. I kid you not, eh? The, 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 there was this place that I went to was uh, I was with uh, Nana NYC mm -hmm. uh, Hey, shout out to Nana NYC, bro uh, I'm doing <laughs> I'm <my> doing <laughs> And uh, this this was like in Bronx 167 mm -hmm. yeah, Bronx 167 And then I, I, I know how dangerous that place yeah. is I've heard about yeah. it Charlie And uh, we did some we did some place, some drink did, and they call him Papaya. I don't know. If I know Papaya. You I know, know Papaya. Papaya. Yeah, I went there. Okay, so we'll go the way we go, clean plenty <laughs> Ghana food. Aji e bem kui, aji e wachi. Plenty Ghana food, and we were, we're rolling down the road. We catch some spot, and my bro my, my brothers were like, they wanted to smoke a little bit. The mm -hmm. boys still holding on, kaka. Some guy they come. Ah, put hoodie be. I said we shall have one. So the guy lifting hand, and he said, Hey, did you slip? Who <laughs> near? And yeah, I don't know in my that. mind, I've heard about how niggas get killed. Yeah, yeah, that's like, right. Yeah. And see, now they say, hey, who respond? They say, what? And you won't be real. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I was like, hey, I mean, can say, me and I, me So I just kept my cool to, I heard, and that's it. He mentioned, he said, oh, bro, bro. So, then he said, Ghana boy. He said, oh, yeah, me so me oh, no, no. You know, so places that I never, yeah. ever yeah, thought yeah. about. Maybe people would recognize me. That I mean, through the power of you know what no, we're no, doing over I, there. I what, what Tell him I for drop shots going out to my CEO, uh, Bronzy the Tough London man. Oh yeah, Bronzy man. Him, he gave yeah. us everything that we need. We needed back then to get it done. I mean, with oh, the emotional right. support, the financial support, Charlie Bronzy the Teflon. Charlie, big ups to you. I mean, Bronzy, Bronzy, he's been, he's been sparkling on Instagram, and I've been checking out his Instagram. Ah, and guy, it, uh, my brother is blinking, you know guy. what I'm saying? <laughs> to Teflon. But it's good, it's good. Boy, I mean, guy. I mean, Boy, listen, I mean, bro, not just Kumasi, uh, this goes out to every media house in Ghana. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we need to step up. We live in an internet era. Yeah. You need to be felt. I mean, you need to be loved everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You see, you're saying about this papaya thing. You know, after next, there's a shop after papaya, right? Mm -hmm. They sell aquatics and everything. All this. I'm a cool. Sir. I shop around. I'm a cool. 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 I didn't even really drink drink. I came to drink some. So mm -hmm. we are, we know, we, I don't drink like potato. There's other things to drink. Uh, but, uh, me, I don't drink that potato. <laughs> yeah, so like, you know, we're drinking, having fun, and all these boys come, oh, like George Britain. I'm like, you know, and it, it makes you feel like you're fulfilled because, yes. you know, I mean, boys are appreciating what you did for them or what you've been doing mm -hmm. all these years. So listen, man, if you're watching this, if you're on radio, it is not about, we're not saying go disrespect anybody, we're not saying go fight anybody. What we are saying is that make sure that your craft is appreciated in the world. Mm. You do not need to, to you know, to be in America before you're heading in America. In this modern age, internet is everywhere. Like I said, I've, been, I've traveled. We released a song mm. right here at, uh, at my, what's it called, Medina or mm -hmm. Atomic Junction. Mm -hmm. The song was made there. Then the song left Atomic to the world. So you can do that. So it is possible. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking with us. This video is probably brought to you by www.mypet.africa. Missy Unya Cha. Ube D. 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 Ube
I feel like shiny at the But I mean, this is what we're doing. We're giving you 100% cash back on your first bet. So if you, even if you put in a thousand Ghana CDs on your first bet and you lose, we'll give you that thousand Ghana CDs right back. So register right now on www.mybets.africa. And of course, you pay. Use the promo code DJ Slim. Throw boom, no space. DJ Slim and get five dollar discount on your first transaction. I mean, send money across the world using JuPay. And then, of course, use me, DJ Slim. Get five dollar discount. Thanks a lot for sticking with us. Street is always what to watch. Boom. Challenge, challenge, challenge.